Hello guys. City bikes. City electric bikes. Fantastic. Get you around the city. Don't use your car. Absolutely amazing. Good day. Get on your bike. Go and do your chores. Go out. And there's an array, an array, an absolute array of amazing electrical assist city bikes you can buy. When you've got into town and you've got your bits and bobs from the grocery store and you've been to the bakers and got your bread and been to the florist and got your flowers for the weekend, how do you get them home? How do you carry? A loaf of bread and a bunch of flowers on a bike. You shove it in a bag. That's the end of end of lovely soft bread, end of lovely bunch of flowers. So why, bike manufacturers, why do you not produce a bike with an integrated carry system? And I don't mean a load of fancy sexy bags. I mean, why don't you produce a bike that has fabricated within the manufacture of the bike a rear rack and a front frame mounted carrier so people can go do the chores in town like you keep saying in your adverts you should do? Well, then what? Right on. Shoulder bag? Come on. We've already done a bike with a shoulder bag on. Put some shopping in it it's horrendous and dangerous so i have options these are my options the first i'm going to show you is for what i can see the only manufacturer who make a dedicated luggage system for the bike and you all know what it is because it's a brompton look at that cavernous tea bag on the front I've got an S bag mounted on the back, that's my choice for my shoulder type bag. You can have the Brompton rack with a rack sack. You can get most stuff home in that. You can keep this open, you can have a Brompton basket. There's ultimate variations of Brompton bag. So, smallest bike available. The first one's priced at an average price for any conventional bike, really. Good, good quality city bike multitude of bags not quite so with the Brompton electric because you're limited to the bag choice but you've seen my previous video and this is why I prefer the arc these are my other choices of bikes for getting around Mansfield or indeed further afield so that's an old mongoose next centre parks I have bike I've got the Bapang mid drive system on it I've got a set of cheap Audi panniers and I've got that you know luggage it, it carries me stuff uh, it does the job it's my version of a cheap and cheerful get me about go anywhere do my chores town bike I do actually have a a trailer that looks on the back but Riding around Mansfield with a trailer on the back through the uh, dedicated cycle routes is horrendous. I can get it through, but it's, it's, it's crap. So my favourite choice for getting around town is the cavernous, do-all, carry-everything, Pasha Pronto electric. It's got the raw mail panniers on. It's got the big box on the front. I can get two good bags of shopping in the panniers. And at the front, I can carry my eggs, my flour, flowers, and my bread. And then, without electric, I've got my old Ofo bike, which has now got pneumatic tyres. I've put a carrier on the back. Ofo, put this, put this on there, on, on, on the front. Now, bike manufacturers, you're all so clever. Answer me a question. Why do all the city rental bikes have carrying capacity on the front? You know the answer. Why 
can't you manufacture a bike with luggage carrying capacity on the front because i believe that's what we need i believe anybody who rides a bike around town needs somewhere to chuck a bag a grocery bag a bunch of flowers they need somewhere to chuck stuff and guess what not only that when it's at the front of them they can see it when it's behind them do you know what's happening to it of course not and all the weight's gone on the back wheel you know it absolutely makes sense you have the weight of the rider guess what on the back wheel you have the weight of the rider weight of the luggage the weight of the luggage guess what on the back wheel I mean this is crap it's just crap but it does me because there's no alternative I have actually found a bike which I absolutely love and adore it's a full-size bike it has a manufactured yeah manufactured rack right the Pasche, Pasche Pronto has a dedicated manufactured rack that's bodged on it's even multi adjustable so you can multi bodge fit that the one on the mongoose is it's a bodge it's not dedicated it's a rack fortunately bike geometry is pretty much standard and you can buy a rear rack or rear carrier and and fit it but you know it ain't part of the bike it's a bolt-on it's a bolt-on dedicated front rack for a bike that carries a small euro size box dedicated rack carrier is there not a message there maybe it's just me if it is me let me know so for me any bike to be used in the town or city or dare I say the village needs to have carrying capacity built as part of the bike now back to what I was saying I have found a bike an absolutely drop dead gorgeous I found it when I went to Cambridge I found it when I took that in for its service and it's the arc Abingdon it's an absolute drop dead gorgeous style of a bicycle whether it be step frame step through frame or cross tube frame it's an absolutely drop dead gorgeous bicycle the color pat is pat, pat, uh, the color plate is good it has a specifically manufactured rack carrier that goes on the back when I was in there I did suggest they make a dedicated front type of carrier either mounted like that or fixed certainly not like that and that's I'm having one I'm having one don't know when when I've got the money and I'm going to have an arc Abingdon but first they need to put a carrier on the front because I can't understand why any bike manufacturer cannot offer that built on they've done it years Brompton they've done it years and they've sold bikes on it for years and nobody else is listening nobody else is taking it on board so you guys in the bike world time to wake up you guys in bike manufacturing thanks for watching i'll leave you with a shot of the of my humble selection of workhorses thank you guys